We're back with part 6 of the Super Mario Bros. 3 rerun on Channel 84 Winnipeg. We've arrived in the ice world, but at the same time, I'm feeling a little too cold for my liking. So, just like last time, a quick island vacation. Ah, that's better. Get myself a little bit of sunshine. And now we can go brave the cold. I did the same thing in my 16-bit playthrough, much, much to the chagrin of my co-commentator at the time. And no, there was no real reason for me to do that because it's practically pointless. Anyway, let's get started. I'm actually not liking the fact that I... Whoa, what's this? I had totally forgot about this! Alright, let's go get as many coins as possible. Not bad. Just missed one. Oh. Gotta be careful. Don't wanna get skewered! Okay, that was a little too close for comfort, but we made it! It's amazing what you remember if you just... look. I totally forgot about that, but I played that uh, this game so many times, and I used to always go in that door. Hard to imagine that I missed out on that, or at least forgot it such a long time ago. Anyway, off to level 2. Yes, it's an auto-scroller, but this is not the coin-collecting level. In fact, to tell you the truth, the coin-collecting level in this world is actually the toughest because you have to get the most amount of coins, and there's very, very little room for error. Plus, it's very dependent on whether or not you have a certain power-up. As this is the ice world, that particular level has tons of coins trapped in the ice. So if you're not packing a fire flower, well, in the words of Clint Eastwood, you're shit out of luck. And speaking of shit out of luck, if you're not careful here, you're going down and you're not getting back up. This level's easy enough as it is. And to tell you the truth for an auto-scroller, this level's actually not too bad. It is a little slippery, but having decent control, you'll be just fine. And a free life. Not like I need it, though, because I've already got, like, 50 plus. But anyway, we're done here, so let's get on with it. Not bad. Not bad at all. Alright. Come here, you little squirt. Get back. Very sad. I honestly didn't think I was going to have such trouble taking that clown down. Not that it matters, because in the end, I win and freed up some inventory space for what I'm going to get here. In the 16-bit version, you're guaranteed a hammer suit. In this one, I'm pretty sure you get a normal item, and there's a slim chance you could get a hammer suit. Well, let's check it out. Better than nothing. Anyway, off to level 3. At the same time, I am going to try again to get the insta-kill on Boom Boom in the fortress, because, well, in my 16-bit playthrough, I failed. Badly. There we go. It's not like I really need to go up here, because I've already got a Tanuki suit, but at the same time, why the hell not? There's a bunch of coins up there, but I really don't need it. And, just to play safe, I'm going to go back down, and I'm going to get my foot on some solid ground. I don't believe I show the lower path in the 16-bit playthrough, so, yeah, doing it like this, yeah, shows off the rest of the level. And we're good. Ah, nuts. 
didn't get the third star. But then again, a free life is a free life. And believe it or not, what looked like a crack in the ice, that always weaked me out as a kid. I mean, you'd run and you'd run, but you'd always be afraid that you'd fall through. Luckily, that's not the case. Just in case. Okay, we're good. Interestingly enough, if you transform into a statue on this thing, and you have a collection of kills, like say, the Potaboos and the Nuclear Waffles, your point counter actually doesn't, um, go down. As you can see, the points keep going up. It stacks as if you're jumping on continuous enemies. Which I always thought was kind of nice. Very good. Alright. Take out another nuclear waffle. I love doing that. And since we're here, we might as well get myself another bonus. A free life. And another dead waffle. Alright, let's try this again. Hopefully I can get this, but if not, it's not the end of the world. Got a shot! Gotcha! Wait a minute, what? It's upside down! Well, it's all well and good, folks. I got it! You know what that means. Bow before me! I am your king! Ha 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 ha! A win for the ages. Or at this point, bragging rights. I'm actually very proud that I got to show that off. I mean, I can't let it go to my head because, let's face it, in this line of business, you gotta stay humble, but at the same time, you also gotta make sure you stay hungry because if you get complacent, you're gonna lose touch of what's really important. Alright, here we go. Got ourselves a fire chomp again. Not that it matters because fire chomps, they're not really that big of a threat. And just like that, Level 4, done. Okay, now here's the stumper. Do I take on 5 or do I skip ahead of it and get the item box first? You know what? I'm greedy. I'm going for the item box. Just like last time, this one should be a guaranteed hammer suit. And if it's not, I know exactly where I can get one later. Nice! I'm going to hang on to that as long as I can because, honestly, I don't much feel like changing into a hammer suit just yet. No surprise, you need to fly in this level, so yeah. Hanging on to Tanuki Mario. This level is interesting. A little confusing for first-timers, but at the same time, still very fun. All right, took out the trash, and you, sir, you're going for a little That's not the kind of ride I wanted to take you on. Let's go. Just barely squeaked that one out. And when I was a kid, that was the toughest thing to do, because my thumb didn't have enough strength or dexterity to hold down the B button and actually bring the coop up there. My thumb would always slip, and I'd always kick him away. And half the time, I would actually, you know, get hit with my own shell and lose my power. Quite annoying, but, eh. You learn and you grow. What can I say? Oh. No biggie. Oh. I took a wrong turn. Oh, right, the star is down here. Bad fishy. Like I always say, the only good fish is a cooked fish.
Okay, dead end. But of course, there is that one little advantage. But at the same time, kind of pointless, considering my stock of lives. I love that the Chinookisu can squash just about anything. Of course, there are a few enemies that are immune, but that's not important. The important thing is, we're kicking ass and looking good while doing it. Easy does it. Oh, crap. Can't use my Tanuki tail underwater. If I could, that'd be great. But I suppose it's not that big of a deal. Okay, just a few more spikes. A fire plant. Yeah, that's right. Come here, you. Squishity squish. All right, we're good. Excellent. Oh yes, I did fail to mention that this world is probably the largest in terms of levels. There are ten regular levels, three fortresses, and then the airship. Okay, two more you suckers to take out. Do I got any more stars in reserve? Yes, I do. Ah, now that's better. Instantaneous refund. How nice. Alright, this time I'm gonna go in bare fists. No star, no BS, no problem. Not to do it. And a cloud for my troubles. Alright. Since I don't really need it anymore, I'll break the block with the hammer, and we'll be on to level 7. This is the coin collector level, but I'm not going for it because, honestly, the prize is the anchor, and honestly, it just takes up valuable inventory space. Ah. Alright. I suppose all good things do have to come to an end. Not that there's anything wrong with that, and at this point, I can actually do whatever I want with uh, any Tanuki suits I have in reserve because I've already got the special message while using the Tanuki suit, so yeah, there's that. And even though I got the Fire Flower, I don't have nearly enough coins to actually get the White House. Not that it matters because I've already sa stated my case about how useless the Anchor is. Oh, the irony is disgusting. It's a fire chomp, and yet you can kill it with fireballs. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, so here's what I was talking about. Lots of coins in the ice, and a Koopa Troopa trapped. So yeah, might as well perform a mercy killing. Anyway. I'm wasting time. Let's rock. We got a castle ahead of us, and I want a clean house. And to tell you the truth, this is probably the most fitting fortress to go with the world's theme. Kind of pointless for me to get the um, raccoon tail, but at the same time, it's all good. Ugh. <sighs> Another spot of childhood trauma. I could never get the slide down, so I always ended up getting shrunk down by the thwomp. But it's all good. The years have hardened my heart and improved my skills. And even though it's a fitting theme for this world, or this fortress, it's pretty short. Just about done dicking me around, boom boom. Incredible. The little bastard actually got hits in on me. Not that there's anything wrong with that. I mean, I am going to improve my suit real soon. Nice little shortcut, but I don't really need it. And now for the oddest themed level in the entire world. It's an ice world, but as you can see, we're in green fields. 
And there's, um, ravenous vegetation. The nipper plants. And a good friend, the buster beetle. Excuse me a sec. Oh, right, right. He hit a switch down below, and he transformed them all into coins. Looks like my memory is still somewhat intact. And believe it or not, I actually thought I would have died a couple of times at this point. Perhaps that'll happen in World 9. But we'll see. Oh, dang. Should have put on the frog suit for this. Oh, well. Oh, double dang. I should have tried to see if I got a running start if I could fly over the edge of the level. Because it's well documented that if you have a P-Wing, you can actually fly over top, score a free extra life, and finish the level in record time. I mean, I could try and go back and get it, but at the same time, kind of pointless. Having said that, though, once I've done the main part, I will actually go back and show that it's possible. And this is cool. Use the P-Switch to turn the munchers into... coins. Oh. Just about... fell into the water. Anyway, as promised, gonna get a running start, and I'm gonna fly up high. As you can see, you can make it over, and there's a free life for your troubles. It's not a terrible level, but if you're not prepared for what's in the water, or if you decide to um, take your sweet time and pretty much run out of time, then yeah, that could be a problem. I don't know why, but get up there. This is actually my favorite level in the entire world. If for any reason, yeah, you get the hammer suit. And having the Buster Beetles out and force throwing the blocks at you, as the challenge factor makes things a little more fun. Thank you. Okay, now it's this pipe that is the big one. Remember how the munchers turn into coins when I hit this P-switch? Well, that's essentially the same thing that you're going to do here. Alright. Get a bit of a sliding start. There we go. Soon I will be all powerful and ready to take on the final fortress and perhaps even the airship with the hammer. Lots of coins. Sweet. There we go. Looks kind of weird when, he, when it comes out of the box. It didn't even look like the same design when I picked it up in the Mushroom House. Not that it matters, because I'm ready to wreck house. Just keep on powering through, and these Buster Beetles are dead meat on a stick. And if you're lucky, you might actually land the odd hit with your hammer. Either way, we're large and in charge, and finish the level. And now for a really fun castle. I mean, there are no real ice mechanics in this one, but there are a lot of enemies you can take out. And with the hammer, yeah, you're pretty much guaranteed to win. See ya, ghosty. There's actually quite a bit of everything in this castle. Gotcha. Sweet. Actually, to tell you the truth, there's a lot of these um, ghost carpets called Stretch. Only one, Thwomp. A few of those nuclear waffles, or roto discs as they're known. And the next room, that's kind of dangerous. Nice. I'm safe. Excellent. This part can be a little hair-raising if you're not packing a hammer suit. And now we're cruising to an easy win. 
There we go. So much fun to whack Boom Boom with a couple of hammers and watch him explode into nothing. And just like that, we're already at the end. Cross your fingers, folks. I'm going for the hammer suit message. It's a pretty dangerous airship, all things considered, especially if you don't have a tail of some sort. But at the same time, I have confidence that my abilities will speak for themselves. All right, Mario, let's see what you're capable of. And when compared to Wendy Okupa, Lemmy is a cakewalk because you don't have to worry too much about getting hit. The balls may bounce, but they're not so unpredictable that you're going to take a hit without even thinking about it. Right. Okay, we're good. Just gotta watch out for the fire, and that's about it. I don't think I should have any trouble with the fire, because... It's actually firing in a predictable pattern. But this part... That's what tripped me up in the 16-bit version. And to this day, yeah, still not happy about it. But by comparison right now... I'm on the fast track to success. And no... The hammers cannot put the fires out. And here we are. Lemmy's hideout. Let's give him hell. Oh, that was close. Almost took a hit there. Alright. Come on down, boy! Victory is mine! And we're getting the second message. And perhaps more importantly, the magic wand save the king. All in all, a great run of World 6. Biggest accomplishment? No question about it. Instant kill on Boom Boom. I knew it was possible, I've done it before, but I didn't think I'd catch it on my capture card. Hey you! How about lending me your clothes? No dice? What a drag. He must think that's the new fashion trend. And, of course, we always get our letter. Greetings. I am well. Please retrieve the magic whistle hidden in the darkness at the end of the third world. I have enclosed a jewel that helps protect you, Princess Toadstool. And, no surprise, a P-Wing for our troubles. And this wraps up part 6 of the Super Mario Bros. 3 rerun on Channel 84 Winnipeg. Tune in next time for World 7, The Pipe Maze. Until then, this is JP signing off. Enjoy your weekend, and if you're Canadian, happy Canada Day. See you next time.